All right, Lance is doing, uh, and, and Ryan are doing a piece of machinery, and uh, the principles on this, very similar to doing a boat, will work on uh, all types of machinery. We'll also work on uh, pallets, where we're going to throw the film over after uh, the uh, product has been padded. Common sense and uh, a little bit of logic help here, where you see sharp objects and you pad them first before you throw the shrink wrap over. And what we've done on this particular instance is uh, throw a bit of uh, padding over the tower on the forklift, just where there may be a sharp edge. The film is on the unit now. And Ryan is cutting it just to make sure that uh, we want to, again, be close to the floor all the way around. And then when we're doing machinery like this, we'll put the material on first and then put the band on afterwards. Then we'll flip it up and make a heat weld. Again, center slit material unfolds easily. And again, you all also want to uh, keep the material clean, so we're using the film dispenser. On a piece of machinery like this, we're going to have a, a fairly large uh, bunch of pleats in it, but there will be one on each corner, and we'll fold them very similar uh, to uh, wrapping a Christmas gift. So Lance is bringing the uh, pieces around. You can see we'll have just a little bit of extra to cut off. Small piece of tape to hold the pleat in place. This is a virgin resin material, number four low density polyethylene, premium product. And again, the film goes, and the width of it, uh, anywhere between 12 and 40 feet. So it can do extremely large machinery using one piece of material. That way you have no seams. White is good for outside storage in any climate because it reflects heat, keeps condensation to a minimum. Ryan is trimming down now, or just trimming off the initial pieces to the bottom of the unit just so that the film will lie basically where it's going to uh, be when we put our perimeter band on. Once the uh, material is trimmed to the floor level, we can put our perimeter band on. And then that, when doing machines and pallets and so on, it's easier to put the film on first, especially if you're indoors uh, where the wind's not blowing. Put the uh, material on and then put the perimeter band over the material. That way we can simply cut six inches, uh, have six inches of material or so below the uh, band. And then we can flip it up and make our heat weld. Ryan's installing a buckle just exactly like we did earlier on a boat. And again, the perimeter band is the only thing holding the cover on, so it has to be extremely tight. So we're using a tensioning tool. If we can get this as tight as a bowstring, that is always helpful. See, Ryan is using the tensioning tool, and uh, when you put the strapping in, uh, there's a capstan that goes around, and it has four slots in it. It makes no difference which slots you go into. We just want to make sure that the band gets extremely tight. And again, cut off the ends on the strapping just to uh, neaten it up. There are enough layers of material on this particular type of unit that we don't have to tape over the buckle.
Ryan's using the film knife so he can make nice, neat, straight lines and there will be no chance of cutting himself or damaging whatever is underneath the cover. Plant the ceiling around the uh, perimeter band. Again, putting heat on the inside so that we're getting a nice heat weld. And this is what's holding the cover on. As you are going around, seal along the base and then also do pleats at the same time. You can see Lance doing the complete inserting heat in between the layers, starting always at the bottom and then working towards the top. Let the heat work for you. Lance is almost done doing the last corner. Then the entire unit can be shrunk. Lance is starting low and letting the heat work for him. You can see how it tightens up very quickly. Again, using the heat tool is very similar to spray painting with heat. You uh, have strokes back and forth. Here's a completed uh, piece of equipment. Again, almost any size piece of equipment can be done. Uh, 40 foot wide is our widest shrink wrap, but pieces can be heat welded together to do larger objects.